dear friends uh, good evening and today what we are going to discuss is another important topic in yoga called prana and pranayama so uh, in this stage we are going to take just the prana and in the next uh, slides we are going to talk about pranayama next uh, ppt so here i am going to take about prana and i am nagendra kumar jain i am faculty yoga tejpur central university so let us see what it is so, so this is a very important statement in yoga that pranishidam vasi sarvam tri dive yat pratishtitam mativa putran rakshashva srishya pragna asche videhi naiti so whatever uh, exist in the world is all under the control of prana prana protects and uh, it acts as a mother it acts as a mother which protects her sons give us effulgence and intelligence to so, prana is the main life source we can say and uh, it protects uh, us like a mother protects her sons that's what is said about prana in yoga prani sidam vasi sarvam it exists sarvi, uh, vasi sarvam means it exists everywhere tri divi yat pratishtitam eh? okay and mativa like a mother protects her children putran rakshashva srishche pragnamasche videhinati it gives us effulgence and intelligence so prana gives us intelligence okay so let us now go to the okay so what is prana actually uh, prana is a very wide term uh, it is actually nothing but the life force the energy the movement in the universe the vitality the shakti the vibration uh, that is happening and anything related to life or movement is prana and it exists everywhere it is something that moves that stirs that is the very essence of life so that's what is said about prana it's just not oxygen uh, to be simplistic but it's everything it pervades everything it is there in the food in the water that we drink it pervades the entire universe so without prana we turn into shava it is the cosmic energy the unison of shiva and shakti shiva being the purusha and shakti bring the prakriti purusha is transcendental consciousness and prakriti can be called the dance the activity etc okay so uh, purusha is the unchanging consciousness and prakriti can be the called the uh, the element that changes there is continuously a flux and as it is said change is the only permanent thing in the world prakriti is represents that okay it represents shiva's shakti yeah so prana is very important so we must conserve our prana because prana conservation is life conservation prana if it is wasted it depletes life energy so we must be careful how we spend our life energy depletion of this prana can make us feel low depressed dull etc so when we feel low or diseased or depressed then we can say that there is a depletion in the prana level meditation pranayam can help in conservation of energy whereas something like excessive talking sleeping mobiles or internet usage can lead to its wastage the stressful relationships excessive stress worrying conflict anger etc can also lead to depletion of pranic energy okay prana has to flow in proper proportion in the body it has to flow in the right proportion in the body okay uh, pranayama meditation collective sadhana or kirtan silence groups uh, silence group singing helps in replenishing our energy so these are very scientific process although these are spiritual practices but these are helpful in um, 
creating the prana, the energy in our body, the enthusiasm in our body. Okay, so excessive stress, anxiety, work overload, thoughts overload can also have serious impact on the proper flow or content of prana and also its depletion. Again, yoga, music, fun, environment, nature walk, morning walk, good and healthy and sattvic diet are useful in, extremely useful in re-energizing and con conserving the pranic depletion or even elevation of prana or uh, adding to our pranic energy. Then uh, yoga, hasta mudras, bandhas, kriyas, pranic healing, reiki, all help in proper regulation of prana on in our body. These are the yogic practices which help in the proper regulation of prana in our body. A disciplined life is equally important in this respect. By disciplined life, it is not just time management. It is also having control over, on our senses, mind, food, breath, thoughts, lifestyle, behavior, etc. Because this lead to depletion of prana, uh, prana and as we uh, deplete our energy we feel low so conservation of energy in useless thing is important hence a simple life and a uh, high thinking is very important for conservation of prana a disciplined life is very important for conservation of prana energy and this helps us to achieve our important tasks in time now prana can have five parts uh, is divided into five uh, this is the main prana but this main prana is um, also called varishta prana this varishta prana is divided into five pranas and they are called prana apana samana vyana udana so these are the five types of prana in yoga that uh, we see and see this pr uh, prana values of the subtle body the prana of the breath is connected to a vast subtle of subtle energy in that system or mechanism that process this energy and put it to use in the physical body uh, now we see how the prana flows in our body the prana vayu uh, controls the intake of energy into the body intake of uh, oxygen say that is called the prana vayu okay the samana vayu it controls the digestion and assimilation of incoming energy the Vyana Vayu con consists of tr uh, distribution and circulation of energy throughout the body. The whole body needs the uh, prana that has come in and this is circulated through the Vyana Vayu. Udana Vayu is the upward movement of energy. The energy that has been utilized by the cells now needs to leave the uh, body. So that is controlled by Udana Vayu. Apana Vayu is the outward and downward mo uh, movement of energy and elimination. It controls our elimination basically so these are the five important pranas uh, which control our body now let us see their location you can see the prana vayu is located in the brain the heart basically the udana vayu is located in the lungs throat and brain okay in the throat and the vyana vayu is located in the heart samana vayu is located in the stomach small intestine and the large intestine and apana vayu is located in the intestine large intestine okay so that is the place of the apana vayu now we will see the uh, this already we have discussed that the internal flow of energy uh, inward flow of energy is the prana vayu the samana vayu is the circular flow of energy aids digestion the apana vayu is the downward flow of energy and it helps in elimination and the udana vayu is the upward flow of energy and aids uh, speech okay so let us go and there are also some uh, upapranas and they are called naga kurma krikala devadatta and andhananjaya but these are upapranas and we'll talk to them about later now let us talk about each of the pranas the prana can be said to be its origin in the sun the sun is the source of prana wherever there is sensation movement etc that can be said to be prana it is it is to be considered to be the head chest and brain prana flows in and downward the prana flows in and downward prana signifies the emergence the origin it represents the input the inward breath the sustenance of the cell the oxygen needed by the cells 
द मेन प्राणा तो प्राणा इज द मेन प्राणा द चीफ एमोंग ऑल प्राणास ओके अपॉन इट डिपेंड्स ऑल अदर सब प्राण ऑल अदर प्राणास सो विदाउट प्राणा गेटिंग इन टू आवर बॉडी एवरीथिंग इज यूजलेस सो देर विल बी नाइदर बी व्याना देर विल नाइदर बी उदाना फर्स्ट प्राणा हैज टू एंटर आवर बॉडी सो दैट इज द एंड इफ यू कन कंपेयर विथ टूडे इज मेडिकल साइंस इट्स ऑलमोस्ट सिमिलर एक्सेप्ट दवर और योगीज है ब्रेक एंड ब्रोकन प्राणा इन टू सेवरल स्मॉलर पार्ट्स एंड देन देर इज द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ प्राणा विच गवर्न द होल यूनिवर्स देन देर इज द अपान वायु अपान वायु कंट्रोल्स अवर एक्सक्रिएटरी फंक्शन इट कंट्रोल्स अवर इलिमिनेशन सो एनी प्रॉब्लम इन अवर अपानो वायु कैन क्रिएट प्रॉब्लम्स रिलेटेड टू इलिमिनेशन रिटेंशन ऑफ वेस्ट मैटर इन द बॉडी कॉन्स्टिपेशन पाइल्स डायरिया कॉलोन कैंसर सेक्शुअल डिजॉर्डर्स यूरिनरी प्रॉब्लम्स रिलेटेड प्रॉब्लम्स एक्सेट्रा ऑल रिजल्ट ऑफ द अपान वायु डिस्टर्बेंस सो दिस कैन कॉज प्रॉब्लम इन द मुलाधार स्वादिष्ठान चक्र अपान फ्लोज डाउन एंड आउट ओके दैट इज द इम्पॉर्टेंट डिफरेंस प्राण फ्लोज इन एंड डाउन अपान फ्लोज डाउन एंड आउट सो दैट इज द इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग सो अपान वायु इज बेसिकली लोकेटेड इन द कॉलन लार्ज किंटेस्टाइन किडनीज ब्लाडर रेक्टम एनस इट किप्स द फोएटस इन प्लेस रेस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर सेक्शन फंक्शन एंड मैंसुरेशन एक्सेट्रा uh now vyana flows in the whole body it controls the flow of prana throughout the nadis which can be the arteries nerves veins the circulatory system it is related to the heart the nerves the blood flow its main region of operation is the heart it is responsible for transportation of glucose throughout the body so vyana transports the flow of energy to different parts of the body Uh, it uh, controls the flow of prana through the nadis which can be the arteries nerves veins the circulatory system so to say udana now let's come to udana it flows upward and outward now as it is its direction is opposite to prana vayu prana flowed in and down udana flows upward and outward it is moving towards divinity or merging into it or becoming one with the almighty its place is the respiratory region throat nose and operation is still the navel the carbon dioxide this goes out from our body is a function of the udana vayu speech communication voice or music is controlled by udana vayu expression is a function of udana vayu it represents the output so the throat area basically is controlled by the udana vayu so throat and area controls or speech communication voice music etc again the udana vayu controls our strength enthusiasm breathing itself is also a function of udana the thought process memory etc are functions of it okay now let us see the area of lungs heart neck throat nasal area mouth are all areas of udan vayu the area till navel and upward till throat come under its domain the vishuddhi chakra is the main seat now the samana flows in the abdominal region and strikes a balance between prana and upana it controls the functions of digestion it helps in secretion of juices which break down the food assimilation its transportation also to my some extent but the transportation is mainly controlled by vyana digestive problems are all a result of problems in the samana vayu so if we have a digestive problem then it's a combination of vayus or basically the samana vayu so thank you so much that was it the panch pranas thank you